Hello guys! <laughs> I just thought why not start a vlog? Why not, eh? So, it is a beautiful, very, very, very hot day here in Sydney. And I'm on my way to the hairdresser. There's someone listening to what I'm saying. So I'm a bit embarrassed, that's why I'm running. I did dye my hair myself. So it's a bit darker than I wanted it to be, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. And <laughs> almost killed myself there. I'm sorry, that was my pig love. Um, here, um, beautiful center front tower. There it is. And I really like Darling House. Look how cool it is. It vibes, it vibes with me. And now let's find the hairdresser. waiting for the hairdresser to finish up so it is so strange to think that in five days or less I will be in New York and it will be freezing cold I think it will be like around zero degrees Celsius and right now I'm wearing this and I'm so hot I mean I can't wear less than this but I already packed and I made a packing video about it so you can see it on my travel channel so what I'm saying is my next vlog will be who knows either in New York or it could be in Vienna or it could be in Iceland so it will be somewhere along my trip and you're gonna meet my family as well so stay tuned do subscribe if you don't wanna miss out and here it is my new hair when you look at that it looks healthy and yeah it's really really nice so the hairdresser was amazing highly recommended hair by Sa. I don't know if that's his name, I didn't ask, but I gave him my YouTube card, so he's hopefully gonna watch this and see his great job. I'm very happy. And he even did a blow dry for me, even though that wasn't included in the deal that I got. And I haven't had a blow dry for so long. I, sh I shall take some pictures of myself with my hair with this car. Okay, that's enough of the embarrassing selfies. And now, breakfast, even though it's like almost noon. <laughs> because I've been busy all morning doing laundry and also for my other video, um, like I was doing some thumbnail pictures. I will miss summer. <laughs> so I'm sacrificing three weeks of my summer this year for this Christmas around the world trip that I, that I have coming up. And and I'm also gonna sacrifice some sleep because I have some overnight flight which is stressing me out a little bit but it's all worth it I mean I chose to do this so I cannot I have no right to complain now I will take it back my summer when it's winter here I will be in New York for at least three weeks that's the plan that's how I will even it out I told the hairdresser that my last haircut was from my boyfriend, now ex. But I told him it's, he isn't my ex because of the haircut. That wasn't the reason. I have a strong boyfriend who puts his arm around me no I don't but that's okay because I've got my strong very strong independence somebody hung up a towel or a sheet on the traffic light I don't know what that's about interesting things happening and we've got the famous coca-cola sign so yeah this is King's Cross we are crossing the street even though it's wet, but I think she'll be right, mate. And I'm getting a muffin from over this place. Thank <laughs> you. 
I mean, come to Mama. But I'm having a muffin instead of that guy. Probably tastier and less complicated. Even two centers. King's Cross is really great for people watching. You see all sorts of people here. You see the crazy, you see the fancy, you see the super weird ones. Yeah, come to King's Cross and you'll see it all. You might even see me. I don't know which category I fit in. That's for you to figure out. <laughs> and then there's always Ibises. And I think the plural is Ibis. Hey Ibis, what's your plural? Excuse me, excuse me, don't walk away from me, excuse me. Excuse me, what's your plural? Is it Ibises? Okay, I got some books from people here when I was chasing the Ibis. <laughs> have passed all I've been doing for the last few hours was editing so yeah not much to see here and now I have to go to the post office and go shopping and do a few things also this is probably the last time you see me skinny enjoy it while it lasts <laughs> because in New York I will be eating all the time and in Vienna I will be eating all the time so one of the reasons why I lost weight is because oh sorry <laughs> just bumped into someone. One of the reasons why I lost weight is so that I can eat more on my trip. And I mean, yeah, to be honest, also because I wasn't very happy with myself. Because yeah, you know, you know, the breakup has been weighing on me more than, I, that I, than I'm letting on, to be honest. So that's still, it's just sad. It's such a shame. It's such a shame. He's so cool and I just want to know. Anyway, I will never know apparently because he has ghosted me. I mean, I want to say can't blame him, but no, I do blame him. Don't ghost people. Dude, talk to me. <laughs> But yeah, it is what it is. Okay, we are at the post office now. And now we will go shopping because I've got no soap and I've got no toilet paper and I've got nothing at home. <laughs> Actually, I think I will get myself a kombucha because that's how healthy I am. And I will sit in the grass in my favorite park just to like say goodbye to Sydney. It's all very dramatic. <laughs> windy here in Sydney and that like when you're near the ocean even if it's like 30 degrees outside it's actually not that hot not hot enough to swim and I'm actually a little bit cold right now because of the wind it's a first world problem I used to live here but not anymore, am I? <laughs> it's so peaceful here compared to where I live now. Ah, no, it's not peaceful. Very noisy, very noisy. Here, my old building, Casa del Sol, named after the sun, which is right here behind the building. So they named it well. Let's go all the way down to the water, to Bear Park, which is my happy place. Oh, yikes. Cockroaches. I had two cockroaches so far this summer. And 
anti-work rules and disgusting, what else can I say? I did not kill them because a dead cockroach is even grosser than a live one. But it was very difficult to catch them. I caught them with an old container. Um, actually a very good container that I inherited from my ex. Like a very, very big plastic container. And so I put it against the wall and I trapped it in there and then I slid in the lint. So that was perfect. And then, such a nice view. I mean, come on. And then I went to the garbage chute and I wanted to just like throw the cockroach in there. But then it started crawling around as soon as I removed the lid. And then I just threw the whole container in there. I mean, I still have the lid, but the container is now gone for good. Which is a shame, it was a good container. But yeah, that's a sad story about the cockroach. Isn't it beautiful here? So yeah, I'm paying a lot of money so that I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> and I'm questioning my decisions a little bit right now. But no, it will be awesome. There will be snow, there will be a real Christmas. It's gonna be fun, right? I mean, we'll see. You'll see it on my travel channel if it's actually gonna be fun. And behind those gates is the most expensive property in Australia, so they say. I think I told you guys that before, but yeah. Now you know. I mean, not much to see, just walls, and like it's a yeah, it's a very big property, which is probably why it's so expensive. I mean, it's fancy too, but it's also huge. It's still going. It's like another gate here. And it goes all the way until up there. Oh, and there it is, the ocean. Oh my god, it's so nice here. Why am I traveling? Why do I ever travel? Well, I guess I have to do it for my travel channel. I'm forced to. It's my job. Because you have to go. But oh my god, is it nice here. Someone is actually swimming. I mean, it is an inner harbor beach, but apparently it is clean enough to swim. I mean, people don't die when they swim in there, so it's a good sign. Oh, and there's my beach. I have it all to myself. I mean, it's high tide, so there isn't really much. It's just only a tiny little bit of dry area. But we can do this. Uh oh, oh. Okay, there was not enough dry sand for me to sit. We shall sit in the grass. This is my home and I love it so much. I'm not gonna move to Melbourne, I just decided. Because I won't have this in Melbourne. I got the best spot in the house and funny side fact this is where I filmed my how to get over your ex episode but I was talking about my last ex then and now I think maybe I should share a few words about how to get over the current one but first kombucha oh first of all I can't open it I need a man Me. Actually this tasted a bit weird so I'm not sure if I have poisoned myself or refreshed myself but anyway so getting over my current ex um, it's not easy I do think about him a lot and and I'm not over him <laughs> so there you have it but yeah, he doesn't want to talk and I have to respect that. I did send him a postcard suggesting we should talk. <clears throat> and I mean, I don't know if he has received a postcard because I mean, who really checks their letterbox these days? So maybe he hasn't checked it. 
It's always picnicking people who scream when I talk about exes. He's just, he's just so interesting. And he's cute as well with all his weirdness that he has going on. He is weird, but in a good way, I like it. I don't want someone normal. But yeah, if he's not interested, what can I possibly do? There's nothing I can do. I mean, and he's not watching this, so this is not a message to him. Unfortunately, I wish I could get a message to him. What would I say if I could get a message to him? I would say, hey, let's just talk. Come on. What are you so afraid of? Probably the answer would be me. <laughs> but I'm not that scary. I mean, he scares easily. But maybe he's not scared. Maybe he just really doesn't give a beep. But I don't think so because he, he really cared a lot. There's a dog for you guys. He really cared a lot during the time that we had an actual relationship when he moved in with me and everything. This kombucha really was weird. So yeah, I do think that he that he cares. He might just be really upset over the dog attack. I have like a, a I don't know dog autism or dog OCD like I don't want them to touch me the fur is like I don't know I, the fur is, is weird to me I mean I also find my own hair weird but but dog hair no and now he's like under the bench that I'm sitting on so yeah okay he lost interest in me now just like my ex did so maybe that's just what happens I'm interesting for a little bit and then I'm not interested anymore Maybe that's why people have unsubscribed from this channel too. Okay, so the question is, what do I do to keep people, not dogs, because that's fine, but how do I keep people interested? Do I need to do stunts again? I did stunts in one of my episodes. And I mean, should I move on and try to find someone else? No, because it's really hard to find someone else who meets my requirements, which I posted in a previous episode. And also, I actually forgot something, which is freelance musician. So a freelance musician who can edit videos and who is around my age and who is hot and who is fun and who is a little bit like cuckoo, because I like that. I don't want to be the only crazy one in the relationship. So I have a lot of requirements and yes, I mean, vegan. And yeah, and just like fun. And, and the last guy meets all these requirements, only that he doesn't talk to me and I haven't seen him in three months. Three, three months, long time. Feels like a long time too, but for some reason i think it's not completely over he cannot have forgotten all about me by the way what is this thing it's like a shrine of excess <laughs> i don't know Now I need to go grocery shopping and then I need to do a thumbnail for my packing light video for my travel channel. Work never ends. And yesterday actually I had a long work day because, sorry the ocean is making noises Ooh, and it's spraying me too. Um, I had a long work day because I was playing at a funeral. Music, church music with an orchestra. I was leading the violas which was nice because I mean I've never played with them before and they asked me to leave so I felt very appreciated oh there's a dog playing at the beach I will show you that so yeah 
there you have it, swimming dogs. I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm not a dog person. Please don't unsubscribe and please don't hate me. But I am a tortoise person and a tortoise is just very, very different to a dog. It doesn't jump up on you, it doesn't have fur, it doesn't lick you, it doesn't want attention, it doesn't need to be fed or anything. You just have it like in the grass and it just like it eats the weeds and it doesn't care about you and it doesn't need to be cuddled but you can because it also cannot run away so you can cuddle it if you if you feel like it and i always feel like it they're building something fancy here so my lottery money that's still pinned to my fridge as lottery tickets could buy me a nice apartment in here but they will be so oh, they will be so crazy overpriced i'm not sure if i wanna spend you know five million dollars on a one bedroom apartment just because it's in an amazing area we shall see stay tuned subscribe so that you see will i buy an apartment there or won't i in here. I forgot everything that I need but I think uh, maybe I should take off my sunglasses so that I can actually see what I'm buying. <laughs> Aha! Ooh, more Christmas decorations all happening in here. Do not forget soap. Do not forget soap. I forgot soap like the whole last week and um, I have to use like the soap bar from the from the shower to wash my hands. It's like terrible what I'm going through. <laughs> Life is tough, guys. Also, which plant milk are we having? I did not forget soap and I did not forget toilet paper. There we go. Because I have people staying at my place while I'm overseas. So, uh, yeah, I think they will appreciate if there's toilet paper there. <laughs> And now I'm home and I'm just sitting here editing and uploading my, um, what is it called? How to pack carry on only video, which I think would be a great success, but you never know with YouTube. Anyway, we don't know if this one is going to be a great success, this one, but yeah, I let you guys be the judge. Thank you so much for watching um, yet another vlog in my life. And yeah, as I said, the last one before I will be all over the planet. So stay tuned. Please give it a thumbs up if you don't hate it too much. Sorry, my makeup is already off. I mean, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you could subscribe. That would make me very happy. Anyway, thanks guys. Bye. Love you.